I'm Jenny and I'm going to talk through some of the key memories that have made me the player I am today. So this image is of me when I was small playing for my first club, um, Leicester Forest East. Um, rugby's always been part of my life. Um, it's been huge in my family. We, I grew up down at Leicester Tigers and at, at the rugby club with my granddad and, and my, my parents. Um, the first coach I had was, was actually a female, um, which at the time didn't think much of, but I think looking back now, it probably made it an environment that I felt like I could be. That combined with the fact that rugby was massive and it, and it was normal to me. Um, as soon as I was in that environment, I felt confident. I felt that it was something that I loved and I just wanted to do week in, week out. So this picture is of me in my team to the Women's Premiership. Um, so in red is Litchfield and then um, the second picture is with Loughborough Lightning, who I play for currently. And the Women's Premiership has been huge in the development of me um, and, and me as a player. I think it's given me competitive rugby week in, week out. Selections every week are tough. Um, and I was at Litchfield when I got my um, first cap with Scotland. So they were huge in my, in my development and again, just really pushed me hard in terms of developing my skills but also sticking in there because it wasn't always easy in terms of selections and it's the same at, at Loughborough now. Um, I think it's something that I've really enjoyed doing and it's something that has made me want to be competitive and want to, to be selected week in week out but I also know how to take it when, it when it's not easy so I'm really really grateful for that. This photo is from January 2020 where we played Spain um, and I unfortunately ruptured my ACL during that game. Um, in, that, in that moment on the floor I, I knew that it was serious um, and it was kind of bittersweet at the end of that game. We'd won, it was a great team performance um, but you know I was leaving in a, in a knee brace essentially. Um, not really knowing what what the story was at that time. After that, COVID did hit as well. So had kind of a long summer of rehab kind of in my garage or um, at home doing, doing my rehab. But it was a really good opportunity to reflect on what rugby actually means to me in, in terms of me as a person, but also what I want to kind of go on to do from that point. Um, it was a hard kind of 12 months to get back. Hardest points probably being towards the end of that rehab when you're almost back fit but you're not quite making it into, onto team sheets or um, you're not quite ready or quite sharp, sharp enough. So it definitely is something that's made me stronger as a person and I know that you know I can take 12 months out of the sport and, and work really, really hard and, and come back, I believe, better than, than I probably was before. So definitely definitely better for it but it's hard to see that at the time. So my final photo is from the Wales game last season which was our final Six Nations game um, and I was selected to start that match. Um, in my Scotland career I've not had a huge amount of starts um, and it's not all that important to me in terms of the number of starts I've had but it, it's about the, the squad and what's right for them. But it was a huge achievement off the, the back of my injury and kind of filled me with confidence that I was back to, to kind of full fitness. Um, and I actually played 80 minutes in that match and we won. So in terms of kind of going full circle from my injury, it was just a really, really proud moment for me. And it just felt like a weight had been lifted after after that injury. And then it was kind of a, was a snowball moment off the back of that, I went into the seventh season where I was asked to be captain and we were really successful that sum last summer as well. Um, so yeah, it, it was just a huge achievement and something that I look back on really, really fondly.